Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Electric. Today we are diving into one of the most asked topics in electrical engineering interviews, power supplies. What is a three phase supply? How does it differ from single phase or two phase? And why isn't three phase simply 220 plus 220 plus 220 equals 660 volts? Let's break it all down. First, let's talk about single phase supply. In most homes, we use single phase 220 volts power. It's called single phase because there's just one alternating voltage waveform. This type of supply is perfect for light loads like fans, lights and household appliances. Here's something important, the 220 volt we mentioned is the RMS voltage, not the peak voltage. The actual peak is around 311 volt, but let's save that detail for another video. Now what about the two phase 440 supply? You might have seen this term, but here's the catch. True two phase power is rare today. What's often called two phase 440 volt is actually two lines of a three phase system. The voltage between these two lines is 440 volts. This type of connection is common in small workshops or heavy appliances. So remember, two phase in this context is just a part of a three phase system not an independent two-phase supply. Here's where it gets exciting, the three-phase supply. A three-phase system consists of three alternating voltages, each 120 degrees out of phase with the others. This setup ensures continuous power delivery and is highly efficient for industrial loads. Three-phase supply is the backbone of industries and large equipment. It's like having three power sources working together in harmony. Now here's the million dollar question, why isn't the voltage of a three phase system simply 220 plus 220 plus 220 equals 660 volts? The answer lies in vector mathematics. In a three phase system, the voltages are 120 degrees apart. You can't just add them like regular numbers. Instead, we calculate the voltage between two phases using the formula root 3 into phase voltage. For example, in a typical system, the phase voltage is 220 volts. Multiply it by root 3 and you get approximately 380 volt. This is the line voltage. Three phase systems are chosen because they provide a smoother and more efficient power flow. Motors running on a three phase power don't experience the same pulsations as single phase motors. Plus, they are more compact and cost effective for delivering high power. In short, Three phase is the king of power distribution for industries and now you know why. Let's quickly recap. Single phase is one waveform 220 volts RMS. Two phase often refers to two lines of a three phase system 440 volts between them. Three phase is three waveforms 120 degrees apart delivering continuous power. Line voltage isn't 220 plus 220 plus 220, it's calculated using vector math which is root 3 into phase voltage. Got it? Awesome. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more electrical engineering concepts made simple. Got questions? Drop them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay curious and keep learning.